Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Madison here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the number one way to remove inactive Facebook friends in 2020 and beyond, all right? Now, if you want to learn step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do this, then definitely stick with me throughout the rest of this video. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will eventually get give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said we're gonna jump right into the content all right so I'm here on my Facebook profile now let's talk about a few things real quickly before I show you how to do this so when it comes to Facebook the best thing for you to do is to get rid of the dead weight for the people who are not engaging with you you want to go ahead and get rid of them right and you're here on this video because you want to learn how to do that so the tool we're going to be using is called friend filter okay so now we're going to go over here to friend filter and i've actually done a video here on my channel um previously about friend filter but there's been a couple of updates and how it looks and pretty much how it operates. So I want to kind of do an update video, but if this is your first time here on my channel, um, you know, just definitely enjoy what I'm about to share with you here. And if you see value in this, um, I'll leave a link down below in the description. It'll be the first link down below, all right? All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and walk through this. All right, so the first thing you do, once you get friend filtered, the first thing I'm gonna recommend you do is I'm gonna recommend you go down here um, to your settings all right now in your settings you can see right here it says days back to fetch all right now what I'm gonna recommend that you do because this is what I did when I first got started because I wanted to see who was not engaging with me so I can get rid of those people okay so what I did is I said okay let's fetch back 90 days okay so let's let's bring this out to 90 days all right boom all right so Okay, so it keeps going to 91. I'm trying to set it up. Okay, so there it is. 90 days to fetch back. Now, from this particular point, you would be good. Now you want to go back over here. All right, let's go back to the dashboard. All right, because that automatically saves. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to sync your friend list. Now, I'm going to close the uh, Facebook page I have open right now because when I do this, it's going to actually open the page up through the actual tool. So I'm going to exit that. And then right here, you're going to see it says sync friend list. Now, this is what you want to do. You're, you're syncing your friend list. It's literally going to go through all of your friends, basically seeing, okay, who is, who is there right now, okay? And then as you can see here, it says syncing your friends. So boom, it's already done it, right? It did it real quick. You can see how quick that was, right? And then it closed out and then brought us back to the tool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit sync engagement. Now, I'm not, I'm going to go back, right, because I don't want this to take um, a, a bunch of time because I have it on 90 days, but what I'll do real quickly is, and because I actually do this quite regularly, is I'll go every seven days, right, I'll do like a little report, and then I'll have it show me the data, and then I'll pretty much gauge from there, all right, so I'll go with days back to fetch. All right, seven. All right, so we're going to roll with that, and then I'm going to go back to the dashboard, and then from here, I'm going to hit sync engagement. All right, so now it's going to fetch back seven days, and as you can see, it's updated um, from the last video I did where you can see it's going to populate here, and this is not how it looked the last time. So you can see it actually looks different, and they've definitely upgraded a whole lot more. So things are working a whole lot faster than they were previously, which is pretty powerful. And this is why I say like this, this tool right here is a very powerful tool and I've been using it for about mm, at this particular time that I'm recording this video um, we're going on about eight months um, using this particular tool so it's definitely worth the money I can say that for sure so as you can see it's going through all of my posts right looking to see who's actually reacting and this is this this process is just pretty cool I love how they just update it um, you know, they've updated everything and they have been working, right? This is this is probably the tool that I've been using for the longest amount of time um, versus any other tools where, um, you know, they stop working after some time, right? And so this is an extremely valuable tool. So I'm, I'm gonna try, I might just let this go throughout the rest of the process so you can see what happens when it's done. But we're just going to wait, give, give it just a few more seconds and then um, we'll... We'll continue after that. 
So boom, it's going through all of my posts, reading shares, one comments expanded. So so yeah, and then as you can see down below, while while that's pretty much loading, you can see it says do not multitask, do not minimize the window, do not have multiple tabs open. Usually when I'm doing this, I just kind of let this run. I don't try to go and do other stuff. I know how it is as entrepreneurs. A lot of times, you know, we'll have all these different tabs open and we'll be trying to do all this other stuff. Now, what it's not saying is it's not saying that if you go to other pages, um, it's going to mess up. But if you go to other pages, it's going to slow the process down. That's that's in other words, that's pretty much what that is saying. All right. And then, of course, don't close the page, because if you close the page, you're pretty much going to be starting the process over. And I'm sure if you're doing this and especially if you're doing it for 90 days, of course, it's going to take a lot longer than what it's taking right now. Um, but I do, like I said, I do highly recommend you do it for 90 days when you first get started. And then after you get the data from that and you see, hey, who hasn't engaged with me, right? And then you start to get rid of those people. Then what you want to do is every time you do it, you want to sync the friends because if you're getting rid of friends, then you want it to, um, you want to capture all of the new people that you're bringing in and the, pre the, the current people that you have right now. And then once you sync those people, then you go back and every seven days, and I'm just giving you what I do. Every seven days, I'll go back, run a report, see how my engagement is doing, how my shares are doing, right? And I'll, I'll show you once this actually finishes, um, you know, the page that, I might be able to go back to it now. So yeah, this page right here with the actual graph, you can see it'll start showing you all of your uh, statistics. You can see how you're doing. And then if I scroll down here, you'll see reactions last week, comments last week, shares last week, active friends. So it's showing me I have uh, a thousand active friends, okay? So if I go back over here, I kind of want this to finish. I don't want it to, um, you know, distract the uh, pretty much mess up the process so let's just kind of sit here and uh, let this continue to finish all right so it's still looking at comments um, doing its thing here two comments expanded and I know that particular post that it's on right now it actually had uh, a bunch of comments and this particular one that it's looking at right now I know that that had at least um, I want to say about 12 shares on that post so it may take a little bit of time but this is just great for, um, you know, just look, uh, you know, managing your engagement, looking at see, you know, looking to see like who's actually engaging with me, right? Because you don't want to keep that dead weight because that's truly that right there is truly hurting, um, you know, your page and you don't want that, right? So you want to get rid of the dead weight. All right. So, all right. So as you can see, it just finished the process. So let me go ahead and hit the refresh button here. All right, and we'll see what happens after I hit the refresh button. So you can see right here, this actually changed, right? So now I see the updated stuff. And then if I go down here now, you can see my reactions are up 74%, which is great, right? My comments are up uh, 67%, which is also great. Uh, the shares are a little bit down um, for the previous week. So, you know, I got to work on creating, putting some stuff out there that I actually get people to actually share it. All right. So you can see this is kind of like a gauge you can use and you could be like, oh, okay. All right. So that's what I need to work on, which is powerful. All right. And then you can see now it went from 1,044 active friends to 1,088. So I got a lot more people starting to show up, right. And starting to join the party. You know what I mean? And then you can see here, um, I can't really see it because the, the, the help button is right there, but you can see the amount of posts that I have. And then what I love that it does is, you know, it shows your top 10 friends. These are the top 10 people that are constantly engaging with my content, right? And then, and then what I can do from there is I can basically, you know, start to build some relationships with the people that I see because I may not know all of the people personally, right? But I can get to know them, build relationships because at the end of the day, business is built on relationships all right so what I, what i'll do is i'll go over here where you see this right here it says limited to 500 friends per day so i actually have the pro version so you can get rid of 
500 friends per day. Now, me personally, when I'm doing it, sometimes I do it in 25s. Um, I'll do 50 one day. Uh, another day, I might do 100, right? I, I never go for the full 500, right? Because I, I want to slowly you know, go throughout the process, right? I don't want to do it all in one shot because sometimes you will have people who were trying to see your content actually see your content when you're getting rid of the other dead weight, right? So that's why I don't always do it in one big shot. All right, and then over here, if I click on friends, you can see over here it has active and then it has inactive. So inactive 3,643. Um, these are the people that I have whitelisted and then these so far this is the amount of people who I have uh, removed from my uh, Facebook friends okay and then you could just pretty much go through here and this right here is powerful right here where it has how many how many times have they you know given you a thumbs up or a reaction right and you can see some of these people have liked and engaged with my stuff over 116 times and then here another person uh, you know, uh, for 79, right? You can see 73 comments from that particular person or 43 right there. And then activities over 195 engagements. And then this right here, this, I, I remember when I first got this tool and I saw that we were able to see like, you know, the last time that they engaged, like one month ago, three days ago, one month, three days, two days, 29 minutes ago, three months, three days, two days, Right. That right there is powerful because you can see like like if you're if you're having a conversation with it, you know, with somebody and you can see that this person hasn't engaged with you in three, four, five months. Like like you can see that like that right there is powerful because what I do uh, and this is just me personally, like if, if a person hasn't engaged with me in at least two months, three months, you're really pushing it. But if they haven't engaged with me in two or three months and I've been engaging, they, they got to go. You know, that's just me personally, all right? So that's pretty much how you use Friend Filter. Um, it's a very powerful tool. Um, I highly recommend, um, you know, picking this up. Um, there is a free version, um, but I actually have the pro version, which I highly recommend. And the pro version is actually $15 a month. Or if you're not somebody who, you know, wants to go forward and pay monthly, then you could just go and pay for the entire year, um, which I think is about 99 bucks. Uh, let me actually go to upgrade annual. And then you can see, yeah, it's 90, it's 99 bucks, which it'll actually save you money in the long run. All right. So that is how you use friend filter. Um, and, and honestly, I just believe this tool should be a tool that anybody who's marketing on Facebook and you want to get rid of the dead weight, you want to boost up your engagement and start to connect with the people that you're really trying to connect with, then this is going to be the tool that you could use. All right. So with that being said, if you got some value from this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know if this was helpful or valuable. And if you want to go ahead and pick up friend filter, it's the first link in the description. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.